Now that I have created some model text, you would think that it would simply be a case of aligning and locking the model text to a reference plane in order to constrain it. So for example, I always want the center of the model text to be aligned to this reference plane. So normal practice would indicate I select the align tool, select the reference plane and select the center line of the model text and then lock. However, if I now try to change the height to say 800 millimeters, I get a warning saying that the constraints are not satisfied. It highlights the orange model text and the reference plane. And if I remove constraints, I can see that the manufacturer or the model text is now not constrained to the reference plane. Therefore, in order to get around this, I need to create a new reference plane. I will call this re reference plane model text. And I will use the align tool to align the model text to this reference plane. I'll then select the model text and the reference plane, and I will create a new model group. And I will also call this group model text, and I will select OK. So this is now a model group. Now, if I use the align tool on the reference plane in the center of the frame, and then in the model group, I will select the reference plane rather than the center of the model text. Click align. And now if I change the height to say 760, the model text moves with the new height adjustment. So what I'm doing is creating a group with model text and a reference plane. And I am aligning the reference plane in the group to the reference plane in the main family that I wish to align the model text to. So this is just a workaround that has to be done to ensure that the model text is aligned to constraints or reference planes in the family. As I no longer wish to keep this model text, I'll simply select the group, right click and delete.